Hi, I'm Chutska. I am a Heshkut woman uh, from the area known as Vancouver Island, British Columbia. I'm a doctoral student at the University of Victoria. I recently completed the Masters of Indigenous Language Revitalization program here at the University of Victoria. It's my privilege today to uh, speak to you via video scribe about um, some of the principles of Indigenous research methodologies as an Indigenous person conducting research. Chu. Indigenous knowledge is relational. Because Indigenous knowledge is relational, Indigenous research methodology requires that the researcher locates herself within the context of the families or communities from which the Indigenous knowledge is centered. The researcher engages with and not on knowledge holders in the community in a way that is respectful and built on the strength of relationships. Indigenous research is reciprocal. The exchange then becomes co-created and reciprocal and should have an outcome that is beneficial to the community in order to be considered ethical, valuable research. In co-creating knowledge, the researcher has the opportunity to apply an identity-based personal lens to interpret narratives in an Indigenous way. Indigenous knowledge is collectively held. Effective methods of teaching and the impact that learning has on, on our lives can be effectively and accessibly presented in stories and in our reflections on those stories through writing and data analysis. This sharing is increasingly being co-created through story within Indigenous circles in Indigenous ways through collective group process. To mitigate the power differential between researcher and those researched, an equalizing title and role of co-researcher can be applied to participants, and the co-researchers retain final approval over the use of their contributions. Indigenous Knowledge and Colonial Disruption Indigenous people of the area now called North America have only recently experienced colonial disruption of their interaction with the supernatural world and spiritual knowledge. The quality of that knowledge today will not be found to parallel the intricacies and order that they formerly occupied in the indigenous consciousness, but knowledge and experience that stems from the pre-colonial time can still be found in some manifestations and in different areas. While we cannot know if that depth of knowledge of balance, reciprocity and respect can ever be achieved again, there are still those who place spirituality at the center of their worldviews with a determination to restore wholeness to indigenous knowledge systems by sharing in the ways that we can reconnect that which we have saved. There are possibilities for re-strengthening ancestral knowledge systems. My methodology is framed by a three-dimensional narrative inquiry space developed by Clandon and, and Connolly. The three dimensions of the metaphoric narrative inquiry space are interaction, continuity, and situation. This draws on the Dewey and view of experience, which is the continuity and interaction part, combined with Dewey's notion of, of situation. I then interpret my research data through a decolonizing paradigm of indigenous neutrino-centered epistemology. My research as an emerging Nuchanath language learner asserts that knowledge examined through the understandings of Nuchanath first language speakers can become a basis for drawing understanding and promoting maintenance of the ways Nuchanath people have continuously learned in and from place from interaction with the metaphysical realm and the environment. Undertaking Nuchanath-centered research requires iterative reciprocity and respect for cultural knowledge and the ethical sharing and representation of knowledge. My research aims to collaborate with fluent Neutronoth elders to identify Neutronoth educational principles and apply those principles to the collaborative creation of Indigenous language immersion learning materials. Native speakers of an endangered language will contribute to a scholarly representation of our own Indigenous knowledge systems. I will research with and not on Indigenous peoples in a manner which conforms to academic research models but is at the same time accessible to Indigenous peoples employing research-supported language immersion teaching approaches. It is my desire to continue driving Indigenous language revitalization scholarship forward in the long term, creating Indigenous language immersion teachers and scholars. During my doctoral studies, I will continue efforts alongside fluent elders to create and deliver free resources and facilitator training toward a new channel language immersion curriculum set 
to return indigenous languages to a place of widespread higher thinking from its current endangered state, my research and efforts toward the advancement of indigenous language revitalization will contribute to increased knowledge of respectful researcher engagement with a community of indigenous knowledge keepers and improved neutral language acquisition practice toward the advancement of indigenous post-secondary scholarship and the life of indigenous languages. The opportunity to learn the language of the land on which one lives means that a different set of ideas, knowledge and wisdom can be shared and proliferated to influence a change in the future, a different way to organize our ideas and approaches to living on this land. Both research and reconciliation reach into the past to create better working models for the future of our relationships with each other and our relationships to this place where we all live together. In my opinion, Indigenous research can mobilize reconciliatory action to redress the effects of Indian residential schools. Research is reconciliation because it seeks to illuminate and to draw from ignored knowledge systems and from the ancient but continuing world of Indigenous peoples right here on this ancient land. My name is Chutzka, and I thank you for joining me on my methodological journey towards conducting a Nuchanul-centered research. Chooch!